Hello, 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 ladies and gentlemen. Um, if you don't know who I am, my name is Shook. I make NBA content, sports books, all the good jazz, everything you can think of. I make content for. Um, hopefully, you guys had a great night tonight. Um, and as always, all these videos they get posted to this Reddit right here. I'll have it linked down below. Right here, I make updates with all the news that comes out throughout the day. Anything you need, I will always have that um, down below. You can ask me questions about the slate leading up to lock. And then if you ever need to get a hold of me, you can get a hold of me on X right here. Um, I post sports book plays on here as well. Um, you can message me whenever. So I'll have that link down below too. And if you're looking for more in-depth content where I give you guys player pools for cash, GPPs, cores, flag plants, sports bets, prize picks, a whole bunch of stuff. I'll have that link down below too. Alrighty guys, let's get into my lineup from tonight. Um, I took a screenshot of it before the slate ended. Um, I should be able to cash tonight. So, I didn't want to click Grayson Allen, but I did Grayson in one lineup and Robert Williams in the other, so I have them split. But this is my lineup tonight. Keaton Wallace, Devin Booker, Franz Wagner, Giannis Antetokounmpo, Donovan Clinton, Bradley Beal, Grayson Allen, DeAnthony Melton. And I wanted to play for Portland play news. Um, I, I felt pretty confident that Yusuf Nurkic was going to sit tonight. I told everyone in Discord I thought Nurk was going to sit, making Plumlee a great value. Aiton, I didn't really have a lean, but I wanted to play for it anyway. And that's what we did in Discord. We played for the late news. We got rewarded. Clinging already having a good start to the game. I just need the Suns. I need Giannis to salvage a little bit. I should have a good night. Franz didn't play the fourth, absolutely breaking the slate. Um, let me guess, the Suns are probably blowing out the Utah Jazz because the U Utah Jazz are horrible. Yeah, bl it's going to be a blowout. Just tonight is, it's, Today's so frustrating. Hopefully I can get into the cash. Uh, Should have been a massive night if Giannis was just normal. And hopefully Utah can keep it competitive, man. It's the in-season tournament. Maybe I'll get an extra few minutes in the fourth, but I'm not holding out hope for anything. Um, so... I'll let you guys know later if I got into the cash or not. I, I think I'll be able to cash with Franz being low owned. Klingon only 30%. He should nuke it. Um, Beal's nuking only 27%. And hopefully Melon has a good game. Um, so, yeah, my core today, Devin Booker, Wallace, Klingon, and Giannis Antetokounmpo. And then Franz, one of my favorite GPP plays on the slate, so I went there. All right, we got a eight gamer, I believe, for you guys tomorrow. Pretty good slate here. I, I think we got a pretty another pretty good slate here. I thought you guys would love the slate today. Uh, I think we got another pretty damn good one here. So, all right, let's go over it. Bad matchup here going up against Orlando. Orlando on a back to back here. Andrew Nembhard's going to be out for this one. Same with Aaron Neesmith once again here. Keep an eye on Obi Toppin news. That's a little bit important. If Obi Toppin's out, you should get a bit more run for like a guy like Jerace Walker, which would be in play for value. Good point per minute. Um, just depends on what other value opens up, but he would be playable for value. TJ McConnell didn't really get a bump, um, minutes wise with Andrew Nemhard out. I was very, very disappointed in that. So if he's not really going to get a minutes bump with Andrew Nemhard out, um, still fine value. Like if I knew with Nemhard out, he got like 22 minutes, like he does here, like he does, here. I would like him for value. I still think he's firmly in play as a fine value, but a little disappointed in the minutes last game. They started Ben Shepard. I'm not going to play Ben Shepard. Um, bad point per minute. I, I think we'll just have so much better value opening up later. And then, yeah, with Nemhard and Neesmith out, you should get Halliburton playing all the minutes he can really handle. Um, he's going to do all the point guard duties as well. Um, yeah, I, I think 8.1K does seem a little bit too cheap for me. So I am pretty high on Halliburton here at 8.1. Siakam gets a bump as well at 7.6. I think he's solid. Don't mind him. What else do we have here? Miles Turner at 6'4". It's kind of indifferent on. You know, good point per minute. Minutes, amazing of late. Playing mid-30s minutes. He does seem too cheap. So, top three guys look pretty damn good here to me. I think Matherin should play around 40 minutes. He has a really high usage rate on this team. Good point per minute. That's going to chuck when he's out there. I like his ceiling quite a bit. So, the top four guys for the Pacers look pretty solid here with no Nemhard, no Neesmith. And then potentially could get some value plays here. Like, Jerace would be a fine large field play. Tina McConnell is fine as well. All right, back to back here. Jalen Suggs got hurt, but he did come back. So I'm assuming he's just going to play tomorrow. With that being said, fake good matchup here. Goga, they kind of wrote the hot hand uh, tonight. Goga didn't play that much, and the game blew out. 
Um, I do want to say he only finished with around 20 minutes. He only played about 10 first half minutes. Um, so he was, on, he was on pace to play a lot more in the second half. Just unfortunate run out there with the blowout. But if people are going to fake Goga tomorrow just because of what happened today, I think he's a phenomenal bounce back candidate in GPPs. Good point per minute. If we get around 30, 32 minutes from him, he's probably going to have a really, really good game at that price point. Um, keep an eye on one of Car Jr. If he's in, obviously he can't get to Goga, right? Um, just keep an eye on that. I thought we got that news, but I guess we, I guess not. I was just going over rotations for the last hour. Um, but yeah, if uh, would prefer Goga to one of Car Jr. It, like like say like both are in. I, I think Goga is a better play than one of Car Jr. would be with one of Car Jr. playing, right? Um, so hopefully one of Car Jr. is out would would make Goga a great bounce back candidate in GPPs. And I really like Franz, once again, just with no Paulo, his usage rate is just absolutely absurd. He's running a ton, a ton of point. He's bringing the ball up, his potential assists are way up. Um, he's actually running a little bit more point than Jalen Suggs is right now. And I don't think people notice that. So Franz, I, I really like once again here. Suggs is firmly in play as well, of course. I would just prefer getting up to like a Franz. And yeah, KCP, playable as a value, kind of depends on what other value opens up later. And then I'll continue to mention Tristan. Um, should play around 30 minutes, but not going to be high usage. He really needs to get there if there's a blowout, because he'll play in the blowout as well. Um, so, yeah, I think that's kind of it. Anthony Black, more of a large field play. It's fine in large field GPPs. All right, moving on to Boston. They're going to be on a back-to-back -back here. Jason Tatum said he was going to play on Wednesday. Um, Al Horford, I guess, could sit here. Um, keep an eye on that. If he sits, you know, of course... Whoever starts would be solid for value. Um, they have so many bigs now. But, um, yeah, keep an eye on that. I'll make updates when we do get that news. Um, eh, match up here, eh, up against Brooklyn. With everyone in, I, I just hate playing this team with everyone in. I think Derek White's still pricey from when, uh, I believe, Jalen Brown was out. Um, Drew Holiday at 5'4", just kind of indifferent on, good defender. They need him out there. Production been a bit up and down this year, but you'll play around 30 minutes. I think it's fine. Probably my favorite play on Boston. Um, Peyton Pritchard has a ceiling at 5'1", should play around 25 minutes. I think, you know, he's fine. Nothing amazing here that I'm liking for Boston. And I'll make updates if, like, Al Horford sits tomorrow on a back-to-back. -back. Moving on to Brooklyn. So they're not, they're not on a back-to-back -back here, so you should have Ben Simmons in. That's going to take a hit to Dennis Schroeder. Although it is a really good matchup here for guards. Like, Dennis Schroeder is a really good matchup at 6.8K, just... Sucks that Ben Simmons is in. He takes a pretty significant hit with Ben Simmons in, so he's kind of priced right. I do still like the ceiling on Cam Thomas. He's been a bit underwhelming this year, but still like the ceiling. Cam Johnson has just been super, super consistent. She'll play mid-30s minutes, can grab some rebounds. Um, I think he's pretty safe. I think I'd rather get up to, like, Cam Thomas, though. Um, but Cam Johnson always gets ownership every single slate. I think the main play is here. Um, assuming uh, Dorian Finney-Smith is out again, I, I really like Claxton at 6K. Played 32 minutes about last game. Looks like he's off his limit. With Dorian Finney-Smith out, he's, his minutes become a lot more secure. So, um, yeah, like I like him regardless if Dorian Finney-Smith plays or not, but would like him quite a bit if Dorian Finney-Smith is out. And then if Dorian's out, Zaire Williams would be a really good value at 3.9K. Played 28 minutes last game, nuked. Would like him, would like him a lot for value, and then um, you'll kind of see more like like a Noah Clowney, if like Dorian's out, Wilson, etc. Moving on to Cleveland, Jared Allen is questionable. That's massive news. If he's out, I would assume they just start Evan Mobley at the five and slide in like maybe like a Niang at three point two k. They could do. Um, but uh, I would assume Mobley just starts at the 5 here. If he starts at the 5, I mean, I love him at 7-8. Um, his rates with Jared Allen off the court are just astonishing compared to where, with uh, Jared Allen on the court. So, would love Mobley in GPPs if Jared Allen's out. Donovan Mitchell just a fine play at 8.3K. Still seems a little bit too cheap. He's their go-to guy. Um, should play mid-30s minutes. No, not, um, what was I going to say? No strong takes there. Um, prefer him to Darius Garland. I think, you know, if I'm playing one of the guards, I'm just going up to, like, Donovan Mitchell. And then if Allen's out, you should see more minutes for, like, Karis LeVert, like I said, um, um, Niang, depending on what the starting lineup is, but he'll play more. Um, and then, like, you couldn't pay me to play, like, Okoro, Wade, those type guys. 
Moving on to the Sixers, back-to-back here, so possibly, I would assume, possibly Embiid rest, but if he plays, he's going to be going to be on a limit, so like it's hard to go there. It's hard to go to anyone on this team if Embiid plays. I will say with Maxi out, Jared McCain has been playing phenomenal. 30 minutes tonight as well, and nuke the slate once again, so I don't mind McCain if, if um, um, would prefer more if Joel Embiid's out, but playable if he's in. Um, and then, yeah, don't like anything else with Embiid in. Um, if Embiid's out, then, yeah, Paul George played low 30s tonight. I would assume he'd get low 30. It's a back-to-back here. They could sit Paul George as well. So it's going to be tough to see. Like, if they're both out, then, you know, Kelly Oubre looks good. Then Kyle Lowry looks good. Then really like McCain. Then, you know, Andre Drummond's a good play. Then Yabuselli's a fine value. Then, you know, we're going to more of these guys. Um, but if Paul George has the team to himself, then I like Paul George. Was like McCain for value. Um, Yabuselli would be playable at 4-3. Same with Andre Drummond. So, um, yeah, keep an eye on that. And then this is a team where I think you're definitely going to need some exposure to tomorrow. No Zion, no DeJounte, no CJ, no no Alvarado, no Hawkins, no Herb Jones. Um, I would assume they just slide Brandon Boston to the point. Would be my guess. Like Brandon Boston, Brandon Ingram, Trey Murphy, Missy... And like a JRE would be my guess. They could also do a number of things, but that would be my best guess on what they do here. But with that being said, and then Ingram back up point, and then they'll play like a bit more uh, Jalen Noel. Um, but I, I think you have to have interest in the team. So starting with Brandon Ingram, I know it's not the best matchup, but look at the usage. Like him, him Brandon Boston Jr. and Trey Murphy are just going to dominate these. I love Brandon Ingram tomorrow. I really like Brandon Boston Jr. He's going to have to play a ton of minutes. He's going to play a ton of point. Um, statute stuffer. He's going to play big, big minutes. Really like Brandon Boston Jr. Trey Murphy, keep it on. He was kind of on a limit last uh, last game. He had a 33% usage rate. If, there's, if they say they're going to bump his minutes up, I think he's playable regardless, even if he plays 25 minutes. But if we get over 30 minutes, I love him. Um, Missy's fine at 4-8, and then, yeah, keep it on the lineup. They start, like, you know, move like a JRE in the starting lineup. He will be a really good value. Um, Javante Green will have to play more at 4-5. Jalen Noel firmly in play at 3-4. Like, all these guys, this whole team looks great tomorrow. Just so many minutes to go around, so much uses to go around. No more, uh, sorry, Chet's going to continue to be out. Last game, they went with starters of SGA, Jalen Williams at the, why did they give him, uh, unlucky, Jalen Williams at the five, <laughs> Lou Dort, Aaron Wiggins, Isaiah Joe, and then Kaysen Caruso off of the bench. So, yeah, love SGA. Um, one of the better spend ups on the board, in my opinion. I think J Dub is still too cheap at A1 with no Chet. Playing the five, just a huge, huge bump to him. Really like both the top two guys here for OKC. I think these values look good. Uh, they have to play a bit more. Now, they can still troll, go with the hot hand a little bit, but they're going to have to play a bit more. So, like Wiggins, Isaiah Joe, I think are solid values. Lou Dort's playable. I don't know if I get to, like, a case in unless he starts. But, yeah, this game, I think you're definitely going to want some uh, pieces to this game. Then we get to this game where it's just like, I'm going to cross this off. Uh, this team, when they're healthy, I, I just hate it. Um, Levine, my favorite play. I don't think we're going to talk too much about this team. I think we can just jump right forward. And then moving on to the next back-to-back here. So keep an eye on, like, Miles McBride campaign. They've been out. They've been dealing with injuries. I guess they could sit. If they sit, it's going to be a big bump to, like, Jalen Brunson. But... How do you not love Carl Anthony Towns? I mean, he's playing huge minutes. It's a back-to-back. Fine. But playing huge minutes, his rebound rates are so astonishingly high at the 5. I actually bet his over 10 rebounds to average for the season. Um, just error. Absolute error line. Um, but should play big, big minutes. Spots fine going up against Chicago. Um, I, w- I actually much prefer him to Jalen Brunson. This is Carl Anthony T- Towns team right now. So, love Cat. I think Brunson's good as well. Would prefer just getting up to like Cat. And, yeah, I think Josh Hart's a solid play at 6'6". Six, six. Like, Chicago just plays so fast. Josh Hart's going to play a ton of minutes. Um, stop the statue. So, both all three of the top three guys look good here. If I had to rank them point per dollar, I think I'd go Cat, Hart, Brunson. But you could flip Hart and Brunson. But... All three guys look pretty good. OG's going to play massive minutes. Mikel seems a little bit too cheap at 5'8". Um, yeah, all five of the starters for the Knicks um, look pretty damn good to me. Then we get to another team where I think we can just cross this team off, to be honest. With Kuzma back, it kind of hurts everyone. Um, Bub's overpriced. Cool Bali's priced right. Saar, the, the most frustrating roster ever. Corey Kisper out of play. Keyshawn George back to the bench. So, yeah, we can just move right along. Moving on to the Spurs, I think Wemby's probably the best spend up on the board on this slate, depending on, well, 
Giannis is without Dame, but um, yeah, I would, I would put Wemby right up there as one of the best spin-ups on the board. All three of these guys look phenomenal tomorrow, but I absolutely love Wemby in this spot. Um, he should be able to feast. Um, love, love, love Victor. Double-double upside, good shot blocker. You guys know the drill. Minutes slowly ticking up as well. Love Victor. Chris Paul at 6'5", should play around 30, uh, 30 minutes. Stat sheet stuffer, uh, kind of indifferent on him at that price point, but still solid. Vassell can't really get to him. Came off the bench last game. Just kept starting Castle. If Branham's out, Castle's fine, but priced right at this price point. Has been good, though, but if Branham's out, minutes should be a lot more secure. Champagne at 4.8. Tough to get to with uh, Vassell back. Um, and then Kelton at 5.7 has really found his stride off the bench last two games outside of this game. But another one, tough to get to. Um, still, I have a feeling that Keldon's going to pick up some ownership tomorrow. I, I, I don't know why. Don't know why. Moving on to the Clips. Um, bad spot here going up against Houston. Uh, James Harden right up there is a really good spend-up. I think I like the other spend-ups a little bit more than James Harden, but another great spend-up. Zubats has just been phenomenal. What is Ty Lue doing? I don't know if you guys watched that game. OKC, of course, they played small, right? They were not running any offense through Zubac up against Ants. I don't know what Ty Lue's doing. Then in the fourth quarter, I believe it was, they finally were running some offense through Zubac, and he went for like 30 fantasy points in like 10 minutes. Just wild. Um, but Rolls just been so, so good this year. I have no issue paying that price point for Zoo. Um, Norm Powell clearly has a ceiling at 7.2K. Kevin Porter Jr. I can't get to. There's going to be so much better value. Moving on to Houston, it solely depends on Fred. If Fred's in, I think Sengen's great play. I'm not going to get too much else here, though. If he is in, if Fred's out, that changes a lot. And keep an eye on, like, Steven Adams news as well. If he's out and Jabari Smith gets a bump, his minutes become a little bit safer than might play him some backup five. But if Fred's out, then, yeah, we, like, Tari Eason would be a really good value once again. Amon Thompson would still be way too cheap at the, this price point. Sengen would look phenomenal. Jalen Green would be firmly in play. And then Reed Shepard would be a playable value at that price point. All right, moving on to Detroit. Tim Hardaway Jr. got hurt tonight. If he's out, if we get like Malik Beasley starting at 4.2K, he'll be one of the better value plays in the slate. Would love him. Um, Cade Cunningham, phenomenal spot for him. I also really like Cade as a spend up tomorrow. Jaden Ivey, good spot as well. Don't have issues there. Prefer him to Tobias Harris. Then Duran is playable. Moving on to the Bucks. So Ryan... Um, Rollins got injured tonight. He did not come back. Where is he? He's at the Flatman. Keep an eye on that. If he's out, AJ Green's just going to have to play a ton. But if they go with the same starters of Rollins, Green, Giannis, Brooke Lopez, forget, uh, Torian Prince, then yeah, we have value here. Ryan Rollins would look great for value. AJ Green would be, uh, where is he in price? Playable. Not amazing at that price point. But absolutely love Giannis once again. Don't care that he busted tonight. I'm fine going right back to the well there. Brooke Lopez gets a bump, and then, yeah, would really like Ryan Rollins, assuming he plays. Um, if he's out, then, like, a DeLon Wright, a 3-8, would be a thing. And, uh, yeah, Prince is playable as well. All right, guys, that's going to do it for the slate. I hope you guys had a fantastic night, and I will talk to you all tomorrow.